What is going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to dive into creating a VPC in AWS and a virtual network in Azure. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, first things first here, I'm at the AWS portal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in VPC. Okay, I'm going to click on VPC. Now remember, a VPC really is just a virtual private data center. I know it's called virtual private cloud. That's what it stands for. But in reality, it is a virtual private data center. So think about your data center, like your on-prem data center. You have a CIDR range. And then within that CIDR range, you have multiple subnets, maybe some public, maybe some private. Maybe you have some routers going out to the internet. Maybe you have some firewalls. It's the same thing here, except it's just virtual. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on launch VPC wizard. Now this is the easiest way to really wrap your head around what a VPC is supposed to look like. And then once you understand, you can go into VPCs and you can create, you know, a separate VPC or you can create subnets, this, that, the next thing. All right, so I'm going to click on launch VPC wizard. And as you can see here, we have a few options. We could either launch a single public subnet with a VPC. We could launch a VPC with a public and private subnets. We could launch a VPC with public and private subnets and hardware VPN access or we can launch a private subnet only and hardware VPN access VPC. Let's go ahead, we're gonna keep it basic. We're gonna do a VPC with a public subnet and then in, in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create the private subnets. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click select here. Actually, before I click select, I just wanna show that this is gonna create a slash 16 network with a slash 24 subnet. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click select here. And as you can see here, it actually pre puts in the information. So, you know, we have a CIDR block here of 10 0 0 0 slash 16. We can give this a VPC name. So we'll say packet VPC. And then we have our subnet here. So our subnet is 10 0 0 0 slash 24. We have 251 available IP addresses because this is a class C here due to the slash 24. And then we can set up a different availability zones here. So for example, we can use US East 1A, B, et cetera. Now, when you think about availability zones, think about them as separate data centers. So for example, in US East, we have a few different data centers here, 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, and 1F. We'll go ahead and we'll choose 1A, and then we can give this a name. So we'll say packet public subnet one. That way we can identify it later on. We can add some endpoints here, and we can enable DNS hosting. So we'll go ahead and we'll click Create VPC. And as you can see, it is now creating our entire VPC for us. And just like that, our, <laughs> crazy, right? Just like that, our entire data center was created successfully. So we can click on our VPC ID here. We can see that we have a routing table. We can see that we have our ACL. We can scroll down here. We can see that we have our CIDR. If we go to our subnets, Scroll down here. We can see that if I just filter out packet, we have our one subnet ID right here. We can click on that. And then we can see the IP addresses available. We can see the state of it. We can see the CIDR that it's in, the availability zone that it's in. We can see the route table, the ACL. And then if we scroll down here, we can also see all that information right here, including our internet gateway. Now we're gonna talk about gateways in the next video, but Internet gateways are really the way to get out to the internet. And that's how you can quickly get a VPC running up in AWS. So now let's head over to the Azure portal. All right, so we're at the Azure portal here and what we're gonna do is from the search bar, we're gonna type in virtual and then we're gonna click on virtual networks. All right, now as you can see, <laughs> got a few here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click create. And then at this point, We'll go ahead and we'll choose what resource group we want it to go in. I'll choose DevRel as a service. And then we're gonna give this a name here. We'll call it Packet One. We could choose the region that we want it to be in. So East US, for example, Canada, really anywhere that we want, as long as the data center exists, of course. And then we can click Next here. And then as you can see, we can either set up what address space we want, or we could just leave it as the default. So for example, Right here, we have 172.18.00 slash 16. That's gonna be our CIDR, just like when we were setting up the VPC in AWS. And then we also have that default subnet here 
which is 172.18.00 slash 24. So that's going to be again on a class C, just like inside of AWS. We'll go ahead and we'll click security here. And as we can see, we can set up Bastion Host, which is a new fully platform managed pass service that you provision inside your virtual network. It provides secure and seamless RDP SSH connectivity to your virtual machines. So kind of think about it like a jump box. We have some DDoS protection here, and then we also can enable a firewall if we want to. We'll go ahead and we'll just leave that all off. We'll click next here. We'll click review and create. And we'll go ahead and we'll create that. And then as you can see, our deployment is in progress here. We'll go ahead and we'll wait for that to finish up. And that was pretty quick actually. Same thing with the VPC and AWS. So we'll go ahead and we'll go to resources. And from here, we can see our entire virtual network. Again, you're gonna think about this like a virtual data center. We can see any connected devices. We can see our subnets here, for example. So here's our default subnet. Here's the range. We could absolutely go in and change that if we want to. Azure does let us know what range we have available here, which is awesome. Again, we can set up our NAT gateway and we're gonna talk about gateways in the next video. Our security group, our routing tables, any DDoS protection that we want, our firewall, our security. So let's say you wanted to set up, you know, incoming outgoing ports, you could absolutely do all of that here as well. So when you're thinking about the virtual network in Azure, when you're thinking about the VPC in AWS, what I want you to think about is this is your virtual data center. This is your data center that contains all of your quote hardware, like your router and your firewall and all of these other hardware components for networking. This is it right here. This is your data center. And then once you're in your data center, you can go ahead and you can start to create things like gateways and subnets, which is exactly what we're going to do in the next video.